Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is SSL certificate? So SSL certificate, if you remember, when you buy a domain name, right? So you go to the DNS provider, you buy a domain name. To secure that domain name, right, we need to create a certificate for our domain. So for example, let's say tomorrow I wanted to say I am a Musoft.com. So I should have some identity, some proof that I am the only Amazon.com, right? So what happens? CA are available throughout the world. Those CA, they will give a authority certificate. So you need to provide some information to them they will give you SSL certificate. Now that SSL certificate will be applied on our server. Okay, so whoever wants to connect to our server, that certificate will be shared with them. Okay, and then communication during the communication, that encryption and decryption happen with that certificate. Is that clear? In, in nutshell, I'm, I'm talking about. So security is again a ocean. We are trying to discuss a few drops from there. Okay. So this SSL certificate or digital certificates, these are like our, you know, backbone of our internet security or communication between client and server. So this protects, so when we need actually, why, why can't we use HTTP, right? Why do we need HTTP? So HTTP, you know, interact in plain text and I don't want that, right? In plain text, I won't be having any information whether the text which I am receiving right now, it's not interrupted by anybody, it's not uh, intercepted by anybody, it's not changed by anybody, it's it's coming from right person or not. I won't be having any information about it if I go with the plain text communication, right? So simple diagram, if you see here, what I wanted to do, the communication from the client to server, the client can be anything. Mule application, non-mule applications, web browser, anything, robotic system. So the, the when the request initiated by the client, when it reaches to server, and when server generates a response, and when that server that response reaches to the client, that has to be encrypted. Okay? That has to be encrypted. Clear? Now this communication, it has a flavors. One way SSL, two way SSL. Okay, so we'll see that in detail. You can, you can stop me anywhere, okay? So SSL or TLS, okay? Again, yesterday's class I said, right? SSL and TLS will be using interchangeably. So TLS is actually successor of the SSL. So this SSL or TLS, it works on three principles. What are those three principles? Encryption, authentication, and data integrity. These three things will be taken care by SSL. How? So the encryption, that is what it's like encrypted and it will be transferred over the network between client and server. We'll see what all things involved in encryption. Authentication is like the data to be transferred to the right person and it's getting transferred from the right person. That has to be validated and cross-checked. Data integrity, whatever data transmitted to the person, okay, whoever is receiver, that data is not tampered, it's not changed by third person. Third person could be hacker, intruder, and blah, 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 I'll call those names. So these three principles will be involved whenever we're talking about TLS or SSM. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.